Hey guys. So, uh, it's Saturday morning, getting a bit of a late start. It's about 9.30. I was up at 7, and I should know better than to turn on my computer because then I just sat and watched videos for more than two and a half hours. Anyways, um, I'm gonna make the patch for this part here and weld it in. Shouldn't be too hard. Just cutting out a flat piece of metal. Just have to just roll that edge a little bit. But uh, this should be fairly straightforward. So I'll knock this thing out and then weld it in. And uh, we'll see how we're doing for welding gas. And uh, we'll see if we run out today or not. But uh, regardless, let's get to it. Okay, there's my uh, metal patch ready. Uh, well, pretty much cut the size. There's a couple of things I have to trim. I have to trim down here. I have to figure out how far this wants to come. Because it has to meet the fender and seal up against it. Um, actually, does it really need to? I guess there's only just a fender well in here, but I think it does. This side looks like it. You can see how the fender comes over top of it. Although this has been patched as well. Very badly patched. Oh, I said I wouldn't bitch about the previous, uh, you know, like, uh, repairs, so I won't. And I cut some of this back. I think I'm going to cut that more straighter down. And kind of probably just bring it down to about here and then take that in a straight line across here, something like that. And then I'll roll it around. But I also have to trim this bottom edge. And, uh, and, uh, Jim had mentioned in one of my emails about blowing some stuff in there to uh, before I seal it up but it's decent access from inside here so I can uh, blow some uh, primer and uh, and paint in there. Um, Slow SRT mentioned at one point some sort of uh, paint tool and I, for the life of me I can't remember what it was for uh, getting paint into places that are otherwise inaccessible. And if anybody knows what that is, what it might be called, uh, give me a shout because I'm curious to know what it is because it's going to be, like there's no way I'm getting any great amount of anything in here. It's going to be pretty hard. So it'd be nice to use something, you know, probably like an undercoating gun, but to shoot paint in there. Anyways, I'm going to bend this to shape. I got to still trim, you know, like the back, uh, the base metal. I gotta trim the bottom edge of this. Should I should be able to get into behind it with a scriber. And uh and then we'll weld this guy in place. Just so you guys know, behind the scenes I am periodically refitting the fender to make sure it still fits the same. I've got that patch in place, but obviously not uh, none of the other stuff is trimmed away nor is it trimmed. And uh and all that and uh, I'll show you how I, I'm holding it in place just uh, for anybody who hasn't seen this before. Okay and just to be clear when I was talking about holding it in place I'm at the patch panel. Uh, I've got three self-tapping screws that I'm running into that uh, other piece there when I'm uh, ready to permanently mount this thing here I'll use those as the spots to put spot welds. Well plug welds I should say. Um, so this is pretty much ready to go, except for the fact that I gotta roll this around the corner, and then I gotta trim, trim it to fit. Um, this piece here, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. And look, it's a little difficult to get it to go into a line, and uh, I might have to go and just whale on it with a hammer for a bit and try and get that center part to sink down where the weld was, and uh, and go from there. It did warp a bit, you know, obviously. Anyways, so I'm gonna trim this to fit. Uh, along here, I should say, along here, and uh, and then I'll I'll roll it around the corner there, and we'll see how we go. So there's that piece all clamped in and uh, ready to weld in, and it might not look that it's fitting very well here. This is the bottom piece. I still have to go and pull this back out and uh, hammer and dolly that just to try and level. I think I can. What I can do is actually tack it. And then just bend it back because I do have access to the back side. You know, it's a little inconvenient, but I do. And uh, it might not look like it's fitting that tight, but what is happening is I need to hold the panel in place, then I can tack and uh, and make you know both things meet together where I want it to. Along here, it's nice and flush, 
and here it's nice and flush you know when I press at the right point so I've just got to make sure that I'm uh, whatever area I'm working on or leveling uh, is uh, or I've made whatever I'm working on level with the surface of the other piece is what I should say and then I'll tack it at that point and then it'll be uh, held in place so uh, when you see this next it will be uh, welded in oh and I changed over to using the Clecos from the screws it was just taking too long to take, to, take, to take the screws out the screws hold it a lot tighter than the Clecos do but the Clecos are just a lot easier to uh, use to remove or to, to remove the panel quickly it is always something, eh? I was wondering why sometimes it, the uh, TIG torch would stick on and I got pissed off when it just uh, flashed me when I had my helmet up. So I figured I'd take this thing apart and it stuck on and wouldn't completely wouldn't turn off. So there you go. Motherfucker, eh? Well, it's not shorting anymore, but I can see why it was. Stupid thing that it was curling around touching that other terminal. I'll see if I can just get away with cutting those uh, strings off, or the strands off. But jeez. Anything and everything, eh? There you go. It's all burned in, ground down. Okay. So. Done, right? No. <laughs> uh, I still have to weld that up and I have to make my bumper bracket for here. So I might as well do both bumper brackets at the same time. Not sure what time it is, but uh, I'll test fit the uh, fender and I'll show you the results here. So there you go. Got a good match there. I just have to build up this lip on the actual fender itself. And uh, I think we got, uh, we're good here. This lip, I think I said it in the other video that it's actually cut back a bit so I'll just build it up to make it even with that there and I'll uh, test fit the bumper I can only hold it up there so I can't show you guys and I don't have any holes drilled yet or the bracket made so anyways I just want to see how it fits but uh, I think we're good to go on this side so we're 99% done <laughs> anyways let's, uh, let's get doing let's finish this off tonight if I can Okay, so I've joined that uh, together. It's not the neatest job, but it's solid. It's hard to get in there and grind. Anyways, so I'm working on, this is my pattern for my bumper bracket that goes inside the fender well and joins the uh, front panel to the uh, that side piece that I just uh, put in just uh, before the other uh, repair there. And uh, I'm not going to drill any holes in it yet. Well, wouldn't do me any good in the paper, but um, I'm going to cut this out of one of the, this piece of uh, 14 gauge that I got uh, leaning up against the wall there. And uh, I'll make two of these guys and uh, just weld the uh, edges and uh, go from there. And if you notice that there's a slight difference in height, and that's because when it wraps around the corner, this edge actually has to be a little bit longer one because when it gets bent, it's actually going to be... Uh, shorter by the thickness of the metal or thereabouts or is it half the thickness of the metal I'm not really sure but I'm gonna go uh, err on the side of caution and make it the thickness of the metal just in case anyways I'll cut that out and sand them and weld them together and then I think I'm done for the day it's about 6 30 so I still have some time left but uh, if I can get this stuff done then you know apart from actually welding this thing in and drilling the holes for the bumper brackets uh, that corner is done, apart from the fender. <laughs> Anyways. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, that's it for today. I got my patterns uh, marked out on my uh, sheet metal blank here. And uh, tomorrow I'll cut them out on the bandsaw and bend them up and weld them up. And, uh, and then that will be the official end of that corner. Anyways, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.